Superintendent of Police, Vanny Cowen, says defying quarantine rules will bring perpetrators before the court of law. The Royal Grenada Police Force on Wednesday updated the public on the changes to the regulations during the limited state of emergency imposed on the state of Grenada until April the 20th. The movement of people put under self-quarantine has become a major concern in recent weeks, as they could be seen within the communities mingling with others. Superintendent of Police Vanny Cowen says this will not be tolerated. Any person who is directed by the Ministry of Health to submit himself to self-isolation or quarantine shall comply with the direction. We have had several reports from across the country of persons who should be in isolation have been seen walking the streets and carrying on business like everyone else. These new provisions now criminalize that behavior and you can now be arrested for this action. For violation of any of the other provisions, it's a fine of $1,000 and up to imprisonment of 12 months. But speaking specific to the fixed penalty, if you choose to go that route, it's 500, 700, and 1,000. Superintendent Cowen says the amendments to the regulations give individuals an opportunity to assist in the fight against the spread of COVID-19. So if you know or have seen somebody exhibiting flu-like symptoms, you have a responsibility to report it to the police station in your parish. Any person who is asked by any official of the Ministry of Health to submit himself to any testing for COVID-19 shall submit to such testing. Police are warning that anyone aware of being in contact with anyone who has traveled into Grenada on or after the ninth day of March 2020 needs to notify a police station within their parish in addition to anyone exhibiting flu-like symptoms and await instructions. The public is reminded that during this period of a limited state of emergency, there will be no social events, no funeral, and restriction on all forms of domestic travel. People are not allowed to visit prison inmates, people in quarantine or isolation, and patients in hospital. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.